Hi beautiful, it's currently a good day in Wellington today so I'm thinking of taking a photo of like a outfit of the day. Um, at the moment I am getting ready and I have my everyday makeup in this box right here. So since it's quite sunny, I might actually have to go and use my BB cream just so when we take photos I have sand protection as well so I'm going to use this as my base today like every time i try to think of a content to create i'm the type of girl where what comes to my mind i have to do it straight away otherwise i'll forget so whenever i film it's more like a one take kind of video and also whenever i take photos it's a one take kind of thing as well so it will be interesting and i think i'm going to share with you guys how i do it so we are going to start off with the makeup I want my makeup to last a little bit longer today so I'm gonna have to pull my very foolproof um, very foolproof primer and that's the Hourglass ambient lighting primer it just makes everything last 12 times better than my usual primer and it also has an SPF of 15 which is good. So I'm gonna go for a more natural look today because I want the focus to be on my eyes. Also, I have work in the afternoon and I don't really want to take off my makeup. So I'm going to start off with the Maybelline Full Coverage Foundation. I am going to put this on the areas where I need coverage and then I'll go over it with the BB cream. Basically on the scarring that I have, I have a very pigmented skin, I guess, that whenever I scar, it just won't go away. And yes, I'm still using the Morphe brush because I bought it, so I might as well use it. I've come to the point where I don't want to waste more product and I have stopped purchasing a lot of product as well you just can't keep up like i've said this time and time again but it's honestly true and you know it's a big consumerism thing which is kind of sad but that's the reality of it all i'm gonna go for a glowy look today so we'll see how that translates my face is covered pretty much except for the textures because i recently tried a new sunscreen and i'm so stupid that i already felt that my skin is burning but i left it on a bit longer so now my skin is suffering i have like really bad rash texture as well as breakouts around this area right here and you have to blend it down the neck i have stayed away from putting product on my neck because i have eczema there and every little thing i put it flares up so that's what it is and this is the type of makeup that i will do on every day too that's why i put all the products that i love on this lovely container here so it's for me to exit and on a work day sometimes i start work at six in the morning i would wake up at quarter past five and then i'll do like my skincare and then makeup it usually takes me about 10 minutes to get ready with makeup on i only do base because that's what i care the most and then my brows and then a lip balm and that's basically it so i'm going to use this powder with spf 15 i have been loving this powder it adds more protection and also it does a good job in mattifying my skin and i'm going to go for a bronzy look today it's funny we just witnessed a small crash in front of our house 
So there's this pickup truck who stopped and gave way to the bigger truck on the opposite side of the road. And there's this lady. I don't know what she was doing. She's probably on her phone. But she didn't see the pickup truck stop in front of her. So she just ran and drove straight to the truck. Which, you know, things happen. But luckily, both parties aren't aggressive. Because you always see those people that can get, like, super aggressive and, like, sweary type of person but these two are very lovely like they both accept that they have fault and also you know it's early in the morning it's like 9 30 in the morning and the last thing you would want is to be late for something that you have appointment on and to deal with you know that kind of energy so both of them kind of exchange details and yeah but it's funny though, because like it happened literally in front of our house and me and my partner is having our breakfast and we were just sitting in front of the window as we always do. We pretty much heard the whole conversation but I left because, you know, I don't want to creep them out and be like, ooh, I know what you did. And I'm going to slightly contour this side because I'm going to be taking photos today I want my face to be a little bit snatched and the nose especially and the chin area for blush today I want to go blush heavy so I'm going to use this Colourpop Super Shock Cheek Blush and this is the Bretman Rock collaboration and I'll put that on here I might have put a lot but oh well for highlighter today I want my highlighter to like pop hmm I am gonna go with this one right here this is the enlightened highlighter from Mecca Cosmetica And it will translate really beautifully on the photos, especially that it's sunny today. Whenever I take outfit photos, I seriously just use my phone. Because one, it's handy, and two, my boyfriend doesn't really know how to use the big gun, so... I just let him use my phone. It's easy, it's point and shoot, and then I will just tell him which angle I want. So for me for me eyes for my eyes i'm not gonna do anything drastic i'll just use the bronzer and literally just slap it all over my eye not even kidding you just slap it on because i have like a poo brown eyes so anything that will create a shadow it makes it look like sultry and if you compare this side to this side And sometimes I would put wing liner on, but my hand's a bit shaky at the moment, so no to that. And this is like the easiest eye look that I could do on every day. And just pinch it. And that's about it for my eyes. And then for inner corner highlight, I'll go back to the highlighter that I used before and just pop that. Here and then line my eyes with the eyeliner. My mascara is obviously this one right here. I hated it at first, but I find that Essence mascara performs a lot better when they're a bit dry. Like, look at the difference. For added glow, I like to use this glow recipe water mist and I like to put it on my cheek area and a little bit on my chin because that's where I tend to get dry patches and for all over the face, um, I like to use the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And for lips, I just settle with lip balm. So I have the Lana Lips lip balm and this got SPF 30. This is my everyday bronzy look. 
it's very easy it's perfect especially if i'm traveling or if i just wanna like head out of the door so i will catch with you guys in a little bit i'll just get changed and we're gonna head on to the location I look like a hot mess because I have just taken off my makeup and I just uploaded a video but today I totally forgot to show you guys what it, what we did but I just took some photos for Instagram really and luckily it was sunny then because when right after I finished work it started raining and it was so cold and I only had a cardigan on I don't know what's up with the Wellington weather but at least we had a little bit of sun so I'm gonna end the vlog here and I hope you guys have a great day